Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Life's been a bit hectic, a bit chaotic. Um, I've not been able to shoot as much as I expected or hoped to. But summer is upon us. I want to get out there again. And as a matter of fact, I want to get back into doing a lot more photography. Videos, everything like that. I also purchased myself a little tool, a little toy, a new camera, whatever you might want to say. I bought the Insta360 1RS Twin Lens Edition, so with the 4K module and the 360 module. Bought a couple of accessories, including spare battery, selfie stick, or two and I'll get back to that later. So, two selfie sticks. And I've also bought a little mic adapter because I've tested this and the quality of the, the inboard or onboard sound is okay, but it's not the best. Um, so, I have Comica Boom um, wireless Comica Boom XD wireless mic kit. So I, I always like putting the lav mic on myself. And the XD receiver goes onto the camera. Now normally that goes onto the Canon DSLRs, which I'm shooting this on right now. But I thought, hmm, a little mic adapter clips in to the side, just like this, it's a really satisfying click. That's a nice sound. With one of the selfie sticks on, the very top bit is actually only just wide enough for the receiver to clip on. That receiver would normally go into the top of the hot shoe, or cold shoe, whatever's necessary, and then it just clips straight into the top. Now, I have actually put this, used this yesterday in Port Isaac. Susie and I went to Port Isaac with her sister and her sister's partner, and came to lost them. Uh, I dropped them off, went back to the car, miles away. But, I put this together with the 360 lens kit. Although I could see a tiny bit, maybe down here, it worked really well. So I know that by stretching this cable out, it has actually helped to put the 360 kit together with the 360 footage. So, got this set up, now works really well. No, it's not something. Um, they were hiding from me. They were hiding from me. I know you were hiding. Who's that? Yeah. I am indeed, too, guys. But I don't have a trolley. It's a 360 camera. <laughs> See, this is my plan. Uh, question is, how do you get things a bit interesting? I always have my drone with me, but not always in the right place to fly. The National Trust properties come to mind. We are National Trust members, and we do go to a lot of different places. And my thoughts were, I'm not allowed to take off and land on National Trust 
simple and so easy and within the rules they cannot turn around and say you're flying a drone because you're not um, you can use them inside and I've actually used this inside for rice uh, to get a close-up of the top of fireplaces and close-up of the ceiling this short selfie stick but I also bought this other selfie stick now this one has a little bit of a tripod mount tripod base to it so it doesn't have a tripod thread on the bottom of this or it has a tripod screw at the top this selfie stick however has a tripod thread so you can combine them nice and simply. Now what that gives you is all the length of the first selfie stick. Now I can't really put this all the way up in my house because I'm we're in a a room that the ceiling's very tiny. Um, it's okay because I'm not very tall um, but this works really well because I then add the second selfie stick and it keeps going it almost gets to three meters now yes there is a bend in it and that really doesn't help with the 360 footage if you want a selfie of yourself however you can get it into a position whereby it's directly above you and it doesn't make too much shake or it doesn't bend too much you just have to balance it it's a matter of working out what's happening um, but that works really well silly looks you, go, you can get asked questions but you're not breaking any rules um, so that set up with the Insta360 camera the mic adapter comma kaboom receiver on there it's just clipped that clip normally sits in the hot shoe of the DSLR um, and then we've got a lav mic which I normally hide under my shirt and put the transmitter in my pocket that works really well and the quality is pretty good to use this kind of kit to the best of its ability. Hope you've enjoyed this. Down below there will be links to what I've been using, so Comica Boom. I would suggest that you use the pro version or the acquire the pro version because that will have um, inbuilt recording on the transmitter. Uh, it wasn't available to me when I purchased this approximately a year ago but the Boom XD Pro kit now has internal recording on the transmitters I would probably go for that instead of this original um, kit now that would be the only change um, because then you would have a, a backup for 
the sound if you ever have any problems with the connection between the transmitter and the receiver. Feel free to leave a comment below, um, ask any questions and hopefully if you subscribe you'll see some more reviews like this. See you soon.